Etymology, virtue. Virtue is defined as conformity to a standard of right or morality. So in other words, when you do the right thing and you act according to the standards of what's good. It can also mean a particular moral excellence, like her virtue of patience. It can mean a beneficial quality or power of a thing. This is more of an older use of the word. It can mean manly strength or courage, as in valor, a commendable quality or trait, as in merit, and a capacity to act, that is, potency. And virtue comes from the Latin word virtus, which means moral strength, high character, goodness, manliness, valor, bravery, courage in war, excellence, and worth. It comes from the word vir in Latin, which means man. So virtue at its core, it literally means manliness. And the Romans had a very particular idea of that. They even personified virtue as a god alongside of honor. You can see an image of this god on this old coin here. That's the deified virtus. And the Roman virtue represented masculinity, especially bravery and duty all these qualities that a good Roman man would have. And philosophically, virtues are divided most generally into the four natural or cardinal virtues. Cardinal meaning directional, like the cardinal points of a compass. You have north, south, east, and west. Those are the cardinal points that define everything within that circle. And likewise, the four cardinal virtues or natural virtues sort of define the whole spectrum of virtues that are subsets of these. And these four were justice, temperance, prudence, and fortitude. And then there are three theological virtues of Christianity. And St. Paul lists this in his epistle. These are faith, hope, and charity, or love. So together, these seven represent the seven chief virtues. And the scholars would break down all the other types of virtues that you could think of as basically subsets of these seven.